what's going on everybody how are you guys doing today i'm coach gary welcome to the channel if this is your first time thank you for stopping by if you've been here before i appreciate your support um and as you can see by the thumbnail this video is going to be about the panthers training camp i got a chance to go to spartanburg spartanburg is that right south carolina uh and uh i, I must admit i got there a little late but it was my first time getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, I went there as strictly a fan just to check out the festivities and, and, uh, and to, 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 to wish our Panthers well this year. It's a brand new season, uh, time for uh, new beginnings and um, uh, none other than starting with our new quarterback, number one quarterback, Bryce Young. Uh, got a chance to see him throw that ball a little bit. It's no doubt he is an accurate quarterback. He is a very intelligent quarterback. Um, got a chance to see our, our defense, which flies around all the time. I'm not really worried about the defense at all. One thing that I wanted to see and didn't really get a chance to see because you know your boy got there late. But anyway, um, was our offensive line. But... Ladies and gentlemen, this first day was just shirt, helmets, shirt, t-shirts, shorts. There was no hitting. So the Panthers look look great, all right? As long as you have a quarterback that could, that could spin that ball and put it on, uh, put it where it's supposed to be, and your defense is uh, actively getting to the ball and stuff like that, you're gonna look good. But guess what? Atlanta looked good. Uh, I'm sure the Cowboys look good. Tampa Bay look good. The Jets look good. The Bengals, the Seahawks, everybody look good on open day <laughs> training camp. All right. But uh, so I was just happy to be there. So I'm giving you guys this video or I'm making this video from a pure fan's point of view. Uh, a, a person who just, just itching to death to have some more NFL football start and hopefully that hopefully our my Panthers can do well this year I you know and every year I feel the same way this year I just got a chance to get down there now I wanted to get down there early and get all kinds of footage and all that but you know that's a little bit frowned upon I didn't know I really didn't know I was gonna get down there and, and get get a lot of footage and uh and uh, have some some content on the channel but you know when i finally got there you know they rushed me through the through the entry gate you know didn't even check my ticket that i had you know so i get down there uh after walking about a half a mile because i parked a lot a long ways away from from the uh stadium but anyway once i get there I, you know i look around make sure i'm not standing for anybody you know I get the old camera and I start videotaping and as soon as I hit that start button. Oh, okay. Give me exactly what I wanted. As he was saying that, I was cutting it off, right? So I turn around to see who it was and he had already turned his back to me and he was like shaking his head like this, you know? And that made me mad. <laughs> and I usually, anybody that knows me knows I'm even kill or whatever and I didn't go off but I usually would say, oh, my bad, you know, and just walk away. But I had to question old home dude about, you know. So I was like, well, what, was it written anywhere in the, you know, on the, uh, in the, on the website? Uh, he was like, he was like, yeah, sir, it's, it's, it's all plastered up there. You know, when you come in, I didn't see anything, okay? They checked my bags or whatever. They saw I had my, my, my hand held. They saw I had my camera. Nobody said, hey, sir, you know, you can take pictures, but you can't videotape. And no big deal. He asked me uh, politely enough. It just, it just did something to me when I turned around and he was shaking his head like, you know, like this dude, you know. But um, I, I probably wasn't the first person he said that to today, all right, that day. And so I can understand, I can understand that. Plus, you know, uh, video to anybody could be there videotaping and, and getting secrets from the Panthers and then taking it back to another organization. So, you know, I, I understand. I understand. I was a little upset. So, you know, as you can see, I, I still got a few clips, but I want the Panther Nation, the Panther organization to know that, look, there is no malintent behind this. 
We are behind you. I'm behind you. This is just strictly fan. I want to see us do good. You know, I'm all about Panther Nation, right? All about Panther Nation. So this video is uh, is more about just the festivities, as you see. Uh, got a lot of uh, footage on the fans waiting for the players to come off the field most of the time, uh, for the most part, on, on this video. And um, uh, just just the just the sights and the sandals, a beautiful day. Hot out here today, <laughs> but we out here. All the, the 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 blue and black. I'm black and blue. I'm black and blue all the way through. Hmm. Sound like a good T-shirt. But anyway, and and to see the players come off and and how the fans interact with them, you know, especially when Bryce Young was walking up to the locker room. Boy, they went crazy, as you can see here. But, uh, you know, I, I always wondered, um, they're everybody, the, the adults, the young kids, and everybody just, I'm not gonna say they don't respect these players because I'm sure they do. Like they do they do something that like 90% of us could never do. Uh, but I often wonder if, if some of those fans would say, uh, Mr. Young, would they get more attention? Cause you know, everybody's saying Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. And, you know, even calling uh, Frank Wright, hey, Frank, 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 instead of saying Coach Wright or Mr. Wright. You know, uh, I, I, that, that's just what I, I, I guess I'm old school. I guess I'm old school. Cause if I were to go, if I was one of those fans trying to get down there and ask for an autograph, cause it was people down there with helmets and stuff talking about, hey, 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 uh, Bryce, hey, hey, uh, I, I, I I drove 12 hours. I drove like, like, okay, I drove 12 hours. So, you know, you owe me, you, you should sign this because I drove 12 hours to come down here and, 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 and watch the, the training camp, the opening day of training camp. Uh, I've just, you know, that, I guess that's just me. All right. I would be down there calling these players by their last names, you know, to give them respect. And I think, you know, Somebody might get something out of that, you know? Hey, like, hey, use it, use it, who knows? But anyway, this video is just to uh, just show you some sights and sounds of the uh, opening day of Panther Training Camp. I'm glad I got a chance to get down there, even though I only got down there for a little bit. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, can't wait for our first preseason game, August 12th, 4 p.m. against the Jets. Uh, to see what we've got. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you know, hey, NFL football is basically back. It's back. Let's go. Let's go, Panthers. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.